and everyone's really excited to be here. <laughs> Jeremy liked. Okay, don't speak in third person, please. It's the Jeremy liked the oh, meter. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Sunday today and I am headed out on a little shopping adventure. Jeremy is still sleeping, so gotta keep the voice down a little bit. So today's Sunday, right? So the main video, the main channel video goes live and I just unleashed these babies onto the internet. Go watch the main channel video if you are very confused by these croc stilettos. There is hair in my mouth. I'm dying at the internet's reaction right now. I'm dying. It's also just like a little concerning that there are some people who are taking it so seriously to think that like these will be on my feet at some point out in the real world. I think I might have to keep them just for the memes because they're so funny, but I just posted a TikTok with them and <laughs> I feel like people on TikTok also like don't watch my videos on YouTube a lot of the time. Like they just kind of live within the TikTok world. <laughs> so there's a lot of confusion going on. But anyways, that's been my morning so far and I am going to be stopping at Sephora because I asked you guys on Instagram what your best recommendations are for a tinted moisturizer. I'm going to Mexico next week. Oh my God. I haven't been on a plane since December 2019. We are going with another couple and the four of us are all vaccinated. We'll be wearing masks on the airplane, obviously, um, and also in Mexico as well. My issue is that my shoulders get so tan and then my face doesn't really tan as well. And then my face just like does not match at all. So I'm gonna try and avoid wearing foundation the entire time we're there and just do a tinted moisturizer. So the one that I'm looking for today is the It Cosmetics. That one had an overwhelmingly positive recommendation by so many of you on Instagram. So I'm gonna try and find that one in like two different shades, I think, today. So I can try it out before we start traveling. My arm is dying. I feel like this happens every single vlog. I mentioned this in the last vlog, but I'm going back to school this week. That sneaker school intensive four day class is this week. And so not only am I very nervous about having to go by myself and like somehow make friends or just talk to no one for four days because I'm scared to approach anyone, but I also am like intimidated by everyone with really good like sneakerhead hype style and I'm just a basic bitch. So today's shopping list is um, some tinted moisturizer, um, some hopefully cute things for Cabo and then potentially some new outfits or pieces to make me look a little cooler at sneaker school. I've picked up two more passengers. We've got passenger number one, passenger number two for a quick Starbucks trip. So I actually did my shopping, went home, dropped my stuff off, had to poop and then now we Jesus. are en route to, um, th so basically there is a thrift store that I went to with Kelsey and that little Frenchie, if you remember, they had all of these knockoff Louis Vuitton bags and sir, sir, my audio, my audio. They had all these knockoff Louis Vuitton bags. And so for this uh, sneaker class, you can bring your own fabric. So I want to be the most basic bitch. Obviously, this is going to make me no friends. If people are like really cool and then I come with my knockoff LV fabric to add like a LV fake swoosh. I hope Louis Vuitton's kid listens to this and goes, oh, they're just knocking off your, your hard worked um, fabric fabric dad. Well, Mom. if you're watching this and you are the son or daughter of Louis Vuitton, I would love a PR package. Honestly, Moose and I would love a PR package more than anything. And I'd like the Moe Hennessy side of that. We'd love some Moe Hennessy. So that's the plan. I had to bribe Jeremy to come on this adventure with me with Starbucks and cake pops and grilled cheese. And now we have a family outing. That's so nice. Everyone's really excited to be here. <laughs> oh my God, Moose is snoot on this wide angle lens. <laughs> Bubbies, this is such a good angle for you, Bubbies. Welcome back to the family channel. Hi, my name's Boyfriend. Oh my boyfriend. fucking God, literally never. Over my dead body. I know what she means by that. Over my Lego and Mattel sponsorship that makes it worth our while. Nope. Hello. Still not even worth it. Hello. Oh, Bubbies, Bubbies, Bubbies. And this video is brought to you by our love. Bubbies. Hey guys, Jeremy is wild till nine. procrastinating doing things. So I am trying to do things so that he gets motivated to do things as well. Bobbers, you look so handsome. Go ahead with your video, I'll just wait. Okay, so we're gonna haul, we're gonna okay. haul. What are we hauling? Jeremy already shared his judgments on most of these items that he didn't particularly like, but at wait, least- Wait, the ones you showed me this morning? Yeah. I liked nearly all of them, Lauren. Nearly all of them. Okay, so from Urban Outfitters, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little ashamed that Who's I- Who's editing this video? What? Who's editing this video? Umby. Okay, Umby, if you could put a, a, a counter somewhere, the ones that mm -hmm. I liked, 
Okay. 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 The ones that I didn't like, and we'll decide whether or not um, okay. Lauren was being a little hyperbolic. Okay. Well, now you're gonna say you like all of them. Now that you're now no, 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 the pressure's the that, on. I'll go, I'll go off the ones I said I liked earlier. Okay. Fine. So I'm a little ashamed that I bought these because these could definitely be DIY. I don't have a ton of experience making shorts though, and so for that reason alone, I I just bought them because they're cute. Also, so I don't love this side. I wish they were both red and black, and the red and black side is supposed to be the back. The tag is there. I'm gonna flip them around because I like this side better so that I can see them, and it feels not quite the same, but close enough. Did I like those over there? You... Jeremy liked. Okay, don't speak in third person, please. It's the Jeremy like o meter Okay, next, uh, this collaboration, this licensing deal that Friends With You did with Guess. I saw billboards for this all over the city and obviously they work. <gasps> It's so cute. It's 40 bucks. It's that's, so that's cute. Oh, it's just not cheap at Urban Outfitters. It is not cheap. Big fan. So cute. I liked it. You liked it. You liked that one. Two. Next up, we've got some black denim shorts. The changing rooms are closed, so I just had to YOLO, and they do actually fit really well. Cute, good, distressing. Don't love when, like, the front do-up section, I can't. I guess I can't call it a fly. I don't love when it's just buttons, because I feel like when you're in a rush to pee, it's very stressful when you've got to undo four buttons. I don't have a pair of black denim shorts that are a good fit. So got those and I think- Jeremy likes. Okay, uh, Mr. Talking in third person weird. I liked them. I feel like there was something else. Oh, 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 I'm so stupid. I pulled these out already. Okay, so I got these in two colors. They're just like a really, really comfy fit. This already has dog hair all over it. Okay, I tried this on. This one looks like it's like this really cute collared v-neck open sides. Like I'm doing a terrible job of showing. Okay, like yeah, we got like big open sides here and it's a really stretchy fabric and liked it so much that I got it all also in white. Here's the white version. Oh, this is a way better detail shot. Okay, here we go. Collar, front, low sides. Very cute. Honestly, just has a good texture. Like a texture, a good texture just, just gets me. I like that one? I think I was on the fence with that one. You didn't like these two. I think that's a single, uh, it's a single dislike. Mm, I don't know. My blog, single dislike. Uh, <laughs> okay, and then I went to Wasteland, which is kind of a bougie thrift store. They have like designer thrift stuff, secondhand stuff as well. So you can always find good stuff, but it is pretty expensive. So that you're not going there to be like, oh, I'm gonna find a bomb $8 t-shirt because you're not gonna find one. I think I exclusively shopped in the men's section. I got two button-up shirts just to wear like off the shoulder. This one is a really cute green color. Green, it's from Rag and Bone. It's also really soft. You guys know how I feel about a soft shirt. We got this one. I like it. Got a new flannel, same thing. Just a button up. It's got just like gray, beige, and white. Solid neutrals, soft flannel. Like a little more lightweight than some of my other flannels. You're gonna love chopping wood in that. I can't wait. Lumberjack Lauren. This one is too crop. It is a like vintage golf t-shirt. Definitely gonna crop it. Also like I love a little distress Thing, like a little real distressing on the logo. The Tyler Creator. This is Tyler the Creator's brand. This feels definitely like a brand new t-shirt from Levi's. Also for cropping, 501. Levi's, like I feel like I should crop right underneath the red Levi's logo and it'll be cute to have the numbers cut in half. So we'll crop her. Should boobs be hanging out then? What? Should boobs be hanging out? No, boobs are not gonna hang out. You need to have boobs for boobs to hang out. Okay, this shirt is so vintage that the tag has worn off completely and there's nothing here. And I feel like because of the vibe of the shirt, it was really expensive. It was $68. There's no way that shirt cost anywhere near $68 the first time around. Oh yeah, 100%. This shirt was $4 when it first got sold. And no, now no, because it's got, I just don't know if you have to pay like for real authentic vintage because then they just mark it up so much. That's why I usually prefer like an actual like thrift store like Goodwill. So this is what it looks like. Just like good colors, super soft shirt that has obviously been worn a whole bunch of times by a stranger. Jeremy's favorite. <laughs> and it was expensive, but it feels like genuine thrift. And I don't know. It's so expensive. I like that one. I you like that one? Yeah. Okay. How do you feel about the 501 Levi shirt? It's fine. Golf shirt? Yeah, I liked it. Okay. I only just like the- The flannels? The, yeah. The overshirts? No, no, not the flannels. I like the flannels. It was the- You said the, I was a lumberjack in that one. Do I have anything against lumberjacks? Sounds like it. No, I had something against the little like um, black and white thing, the uh, ribby thing. Different store. Different store. I disliked one thing. Two. But no. Oh, 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 wait, wait. I got a necklace. Got a necklace as well. So cute. Yeah, that one. So right cute. The dislike file. You don't like it? Go I gotta be honest. Smiley's on it. I gotta be honest. If there's anything that I'm disappointed you in buying, I could have DIY'd that. Yeah, truly. It was just so cute. What if we gonna do a DIY of us doing beaded wait, necklaces together? Wait, look how cute it is. <laughs> the little <laughs> smileys. And Bubby's looking very adorable. <laughs> and Jeremy. <laughs> and Jeremy. And Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> so cute though, I'm so excited. That's so nice. Just my boys here for the haul. Is that it?
Okay, and then Sephora was. Oh my god, I'm tired. All right, let's oh go. my god, there's five more things, boob. Okay, so we got the It Cosmetic CC Cream. Also, I was doing some testers on my arm. Oh my god, this is like solid coverage. Full coverage cream. Ooh, SPF 50 Anti Aging Hydrating Serum. So I got it in medium tan and medium. Hopefully, this will kind of span the gamut of how tan I get when I'm in the sun. TBD though. And then um, I totally forgot that Sephora doesn't carry shape tape. So I got the Tarte Creaseless Concealer in tan and medium, again, to fluctuate with my body. And then I didn't know that Laura Mercier made the translucent loose setting power in little minis. I feel like that's some pretty big packaging when I travel. So I got the little mini one and that is it. Thank you for joining me for this haul. Thank you, Moose. Thank you, Jeremy. Everyone's Wait, been a great sport. I mean, what's your my haul? My swimsuit haul. I thought I was gonna do an entire segment. Oh, you're gonna do an entire swimsuit haul? Yeah. Hmm, save that for the OnlyFans. Also, I forgot to circle back on the fake Louis Vuitton situation. Just that situation, we're gonna accept it and move on. I was hoping to find, like, obviously a fake bag, but... You found it. I did, I did. But I feel like a lot of the fake bags have like a softer fake leather and this one feels pretty stiff. It's just expensive for fake. Uh, I know. Well, they had a real one there and it's $400. And so the texture of the real one obviously was like buttery and softer and this, this one's like really this one, stiff. This one puked in this bag. What? Oh, nah. What I think they did is like added a liner on the inside. I don't know if you can see how stiff this is. It's almost like, um. Get it, buddies. Yeah, he didn't like it. He doesn't like he it. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. He goes, Mom. I don't like it. This smells like fake, bad, gross, liner-filled Louis Vuitton. That's what it is. I can't imagine if I was Louis Vuitton and saw so many people faking up my stuff. That's the reality of making really expensive shit is that people don't want to pay that it's kind of money. It's stained. Look on the outside. Yeah, it's fake. But why is it stained? Because it's fake doesn't mean it's stained. I don't know. Anyways, I think that there's like a cardboard-based liner in here that I think I'll be able to cut out because I really don't need a ton of the fabric, but obviously I'm not going to buy a real Louis Vuitton handbag for the sake of cutting it up for leather. So we'll see. I might have to go out on the hunt again for some more fabric. This is what I got so far. This is what I got. So maybe we will cut her up and see what's on the inside. Oh, is that a good head scratchy? A good head scratchy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just collapsed Gotta when it's a good it. scratchy. He oh, just kind of... Oh, oh, yeah. It's all his weight on his nose. A great Cartier shot, too. Wow. Great neck scratchies. And, and uh, that's it for the rest of the day. Okay. All right. And, but, uh, okay, bye, guys. Love you. Bye. We got a... We got a, we got a bye, 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 bye,
it might it really might but what I just realized is that there's going to be a ton of stitching so like this is a good panel of usable material this is like a decent sized panel this is a decent sized panel but these are like really disruptive here in the middle mm, I don't know how it's gonna go it's also on the other side too so you can't really avoid it I don't know Oh, oh my God, there's, yeah, there's literal cardboard on the inside of this. Okay, so I think the easiest way to do this is actually just cut through, oh, cardboard and glue. My hand is sticky already. So I think the easiest way to do this is just cut, literally cut around where this like strap portion is. Okay, let's try this. This is super usable. Literal cardboard on the inside. Hmm. So that like Louis Vuitton satchel that you guys always see me wearing, like the bum bag, the little fanny pack, that's a fake Louis Vuitton bag, but it feels so incredibly real. I'm sure there's like a gamut of how authentic they can feel, but this is interesting. It's a little sticky. Like I bet they had to glue this down. Oh yeah, this feels a little weird. Hmm. I wonder if this will be usable. Ah, okay, yeah, my fingers are sticky. Don't like this. Okay. Oh my God, okay. I mean, aside from like the weird glue on the back of it, that's a decent like slab of fake leather fabric. Oh my God, I'm so excited to potentially repurpose this. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that on the same side. And I wonder if acetone will like fuck it up. Acetone just removes everything. I'm just worried that it'll bleed through or like make it weird. But I mean, this is really successful. I'm so glad that there ended up being a literal like cardboard layer under here. Cause I was like, how did they manage to make this this stiff? Okay, success. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this upcycle. It's gonna be, if I can make this happen, if I can pull this off, it's gonna be great. Thank you for your service, secondhand bag. This fabric is now going for a third round of use. <laughs> this is a true upcycle. So we've got one and, we, oh no, 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 no. And we've got two. So that's like a decent amount of fabric. I think for the shoe, I really just want to do a swooshy. So this class is crazy. Basically, like I'm going to be making a Jordan 1 high top from nothing. Like cutting rubber, sewing fabric, sewing rubber to fabric with like specific sneaker glue. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is truly like such a mesh of everything that I love. So fingers crossed that I'm not like the worst in the class. You didn't have to have any experience to register or like sign up, but I'm still feel super nervous because like, what if I need help more than everyone else needs help? Or what if I'm super slow? What happens when I don't make any friends? I'm having literal like new school anxiety. Oh my God. Anyways, I'm gonna try and use a little acetone just on the corner of one of these pieces of fabric to see what happens. But y'all, that was successful. That was highly successful. <laughs> I look like shit. <laughs> Hi guys, it's the next day. I was actually gonna end the vlog, but then I, I forgot that I've been meaning to try this product forever. And obviously I still need to do my hair for the day. Also, so I'm getting my coach laser today. <laughs> The first time ever, I've never gotten laser hair removal, but this vlog is already like decently long, I think. So I'm gonna start another vlog today and bring you guys along with the process. I'm really fucking scared. All of my friends have advised me that like I will be fine, which I know I will be. One of my friends said that laser is less painful than tattoos, but I just feel like I've never gotten a tattoo the same size as my coach. <laughs> oh my God. I'm leaving the house today. So I'm fixing my hair. I feel like there are so many people who are rocking the very sleek buns right now. I'm someone who, one, doesn't ever wash my hair. I'm on literal day six today. Someone messaged me and was like, is it not normal for Americans and Canadians to like not wash their hair every day? And I was like, oh, baby girl, bitch, no. Wait, what do you mean? Especially if you have chemically treated hair of any kind. Oh my God, psoriasis really said hello. Especially if you have any kind of like chemically treated or colored hair, like washing your hair every single day is so bad for it. And like six days later, and my hair really does not look that bad. Psoriasis not doing as good but that is not related to the amount that I wash my hair. Obviously some of it's product buildup as well from like dry shampoo, but you know what? For the sake of keeping my hair a little healthier while it recovers from my latest like bleaching when I last got my hair done a few weeks ago, it's really not that bad. I don't know why I'm trying to justify it so much because I know all y'all are trying to not wash your hair that often. Anyways, I wanted to try a little sleeky bun and I got 
this new product that my hairstylist friend swears by. It's Tancho, 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 high grade hair pomade. So it looks like I will leave a link to it, whether or not this goes well, if you want to try it out. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. I don't love the smell of this. It's lavender. Maybe I can't smell it though once it's like on my head. Okay, I don't even know where to start. Oh, oh. Oh, oh wait, wow, I like this a lot. Oh, I don't know quite what I expected. It's just so much nicer than like using gel, I guess, because gel just ends up being so crunchy. Oh, wow, wow. But I feel like this doesn't even really look that different on camera. Oh, shit, okay. Let's uh flatten these down, these little baby hairs. This feels like, like an Elmer's glue stick. Oh, ooh, that looks good. Wow, wow, wow. I genuinely am shocked. Oh my God. Okay, try this product. Wow, highly recommend, not sponsored. Wow, wow. Okay, I need a better hair elastic. I feel like, I thought this was gonna go very poorly and I was like, eh, my hair will definitely end up back in a bun. I need a better elastic, hang on. Oh my God. Guys, remember when I tried to do this that one day when I went to the beach with my mom and I looked like just an ugly egg? Wow, this is so, maybe I'll hate this in a few hours and it's like, I'll have like egg status mode. But, oh my God, that worked so so well. Wow. Also, the smell does like not bother me whatsoever anymore. It doesn't feel like it's not crunchy. Like it's honestly, like obviously it's got a little bit of like, I don't want to say like stick to it. It's like, it's like a silky stick. I don't know. Anyways. Wow. Okay. We'll link this down below. Um, I just got it on Amazon. Tancho high grade tea care pomade. Wow. Fire. Thank you, Lovett, if you're watching this for recommending this product. Oh my God. I'm really happy with this. The one thing is that I do have to record a podcast later. And so I'm a little worried that like, I guess I'll have headphones on, but I feel like that'll be like maximum egg if I have giant headphones on. I guess I could pull my point until the side. And that's a problem for later. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I will see you in the next vlog when I'll get my coat waxed. I'm really nervous. I truly am very nervous. I'm gonna go a little early and get the numbing cream beforehand. Mm, I'm nervous. Uh, stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye.